Today, Kevin and I are going to be assembling this Barbie house. It is, it says create a treat, build your own cookie dream house. We found this at World Market and I had to have it. It was $14.99. I don't think that's bad for a very unique uh, house like this that you assemble. It's like a, like a gingerbread house or anything. It's like a gingerbread no. house except it's a barbie yeah. dream house. Yeah, yeah. These and are, it's cookie instead of gingerbread. Yes, these are out for the holiday season right now, so get it while you can. If you don't have a world market in your area, you can order these online and they'll ship it to your house. Um, it says skill level two, really easy it says. Now, yeah, we'll see. Uh, perfect for little hands. <laughs> recommended for ages three and up so uh, we'll see uh, it's the sticking the decorations on there that's three and up the putting it together is not three and no, up usually no usually you need mom and dad's help for this it says there are about 23 servings per container one 23rd of the kit or 29 grams is 110 calories this is a product of Canada um, but who really eats the, do you really eat your gingerbread house? I don't, I've never made I've never it. Eaten one. I've never made a gingerbread house and then eaten it. You know, you always make it and then you leave it out on display uh, for the holiday season, but you don't actually eat yeah, it I've never because eaten. you want it to be pretty. So if this is pretty, even if it's not, we might leave it out throughout the whole Christmas season. So, Kevin's gonna pull stuff out for okay. you. So you got the white frosting. It says pre-made icing with tip. Yep. You get a this white, is the white one. This is the pink. And the pink. And it's got blue. And then this one is called, it says new, easy, soft and squeezy icing tubes. Make yep. decorating easy. And then I'll just pull out the candy. She's got these little- um, A blooming flower flowers. Got these little beads. Pastel mini beads. And you got these little gummies. And tropical jelly tots. Yeah, they look like little uh, tots. They look, yeah, they do. And then this is the... And then you have your pieces. You have a front, a back. Um, yeah, you have a front and a back piece, a roof, sides, and then you have stairs and flower boxes. So... Yeah, and what what we are concerned about, what, are, what we have talked about this before we started the video, I want my house to look like this one. I, I at think- At least as close as you can get. I want it as close as I can get to this one. Um, so I want the house to be white, just like your house, and I want my roof to be pink. And what our concern is, is how are you gonna have enough frosting to do all that? But- my, It looks like there's quite a bit now that I'm seeing it. Thinking too is they, they shouldn't show it if you can't do it. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we're actually going to be able to do, make this look um, like it does on the box. Yeah, it, it, I mean, I'm needing it like I said I need it. Oh, you're you trying to warm it up in your hand. Oh, I see. Icing preparation. Remove pre-made icing from kit. Knead slash massage the icing pouch for one to two minutes, bringing icing to room temperature and making it more adhesive. And then it gives you a tip for uh, cutting the tip. Remove cap and snip the tip into one fourth. Snip the tip one fourth from the end. Your icing is now ready for assembling the house. So, and then it tells you to arrange the pieces. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a quick picture of this and then we'll be right back. So do you wanna break these in half? Arrange wanna... house pieces for assembly. Lay pieces out on the table. Place front and back panels face down. Yeah, but you, yeah, and you gotta break these too. Oh boy, it hasn't told us to do that yet. Right. Where do you, it says, Here's place the front. front and back guys face down separate the house pieces by gently breaking along the snap lines between sections i'm gonna give you all these Might as well lay this. And this is the base so you're gonna glue it you're gonna stick it to that which one's the front that's the front oh that's broke pretty all easy all of these yeah, you break every one of those for. I'm trying to be super. Oh, 
Yeah, right. you can do those. Good. I was gonna tell you one don't break water if you can help it. One break. Okay. These yeah. I need that, that, and that can be all broken apart. This one I only need one of those broken off, honestly. Like that? Yeah, and now break one end off. If you can't. If you can't, then yeah, then leave don't don't break the rest of it. Yeah. I'm trying to be very careful so that Yeah, it's like, well I mean if you break it I guess you can glue it back together again, but Okay, and, and then, then just this one in half. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now this is gonna be your sides go. Oh, is this the base? Is this what yeah. you put it on? Mm -hmm. Usually so they have like a little I know a little plastic tray you like sit them in. Yeah, so that it stands up on its own. Yeah, this is not not this one. Okay. This one we're literally gonna I'm gonna stick icing here, here, on the bottom. Here, here, and then I'll, I'll do the bottom before I hold them up. And then we're going to do the bottom of these two, and you're literally going to hold, hold this, it. stick one of these on, like okay. that. And then I'll do the next bottom for maybe this one, and you can hold it. Okay. Yeah. And I told Kevin I thought what would be uh, best is if you could frost this before you put it together, because once you have it in place, it's gonna be horrible to try to frost this once it's standing up. It's gonna be almost impossible. But Kevin is afraid for us to go ahead and frost it because he's afraid that we won't, out. he doesn't wanna run out of icing because that's our glue. We have to have that to put it together. Yeah. So really, it's it's never gonna look like this completely. Well, and, and you get all the white lines to hold all your candy in there. I that's know, what, and if you, that's what glues your if candy you on. use up all that white, then you're out of luck. Yeah. So you have to put it together. You know, if they've coated their stairs, this, this. Oh, I know. Oh, I just don't see it having enough for that. We'll, we'll see. I mean, it's a pretty good size. I mean, it's full okay, so prepare the frame. Uh, pipe a thick line of icing on front, back, and side panels as shown. Right. Cardboard pad can be used to build your house on adding icing at the bottom of the panels. Okay. Right. So a quarter of the way down there. I wish they would put a line on there. You know, why not put a little dent on there to where we it's, know where it's just it. telling you. It says this is perfect for little hands. So, oh, they give you people. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we'll cut out. We'll pop out, too. I did not see that there are people on the box. That is awesome. Well, it was on the bottom. So, I didn't even take a picture of that. I'll have to take a picture of that. Look at that. You get two Barbies and you get a dog. Oh, my gosh. That is awesome. I had no idea you got people. Okay. Let's see how this is gonna go. Now this is when I when when I ice it, you can just put it somewhere back there. Okay. Hold that up. Just let me see the about where you want to put it at. That's gonna go there. This one's gonna go here. Yeah, that's right. So if you do it right around there, that'll be good. It went. Do you have to put any at the bottom to get it to stick to will, the, yeah. you're going to, you're going to waste it? You have to get it to stay. Yeah, but do you want it to stick to the bottom right now? Because don't we, can't we, once, let me ask you this, once it dries, can we not pick it up and lay it on its side to frost it? Maybe. I well, mean, it needs you, to dry completely. Then you don't I want to put it on the, to the I'll, bottom. I'll just put it on the, okay. on the side then. Okay. But it said thick. Because so. I was just hoping to be able to turn it, the whole thing, once it dries on its side, to, to uh, frost it. Right. And I tell you okay. what, I will reposition this camera to uh, really quick before I hold this to where you're looking down at what we're doing so you can see. Don't you think that'd be better? You can. Okay. Okay, so if you hold this one up. And then this one goes there. Let me go ahead Windows and put it up, right? Oh, you better look. You take that box because you need it. I don't need it. Do you want the windows at the top? At the top. Okay. okay. So you may stick this to the side? Yep. So you're right in that frost. Now it 
it's going to all of these pieces you have your stairs which are hilarious looking they are. and then this is a planter and then your house it has to sit for half an hour and we'll probably let it sit for a little bit longer than that um, and then we'll be back so kevin um he made the stairs the steps out front and then he put them up next to the front door of the house and they went above the front door so he took one of the steps off and put it on the back door and then the other one we'll just put it around to the front but yeah it was it was too tall to even way go too to, tall way too tall like barbie wouldn't have been able to open her door to her house so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn this on its side and they don't show you this in the picture there is a gap the way that the house is turned right here you don't see that there's a gap in the roof right there but we put it together correctly it's just that they don't show you that angle that it doesn't fit together perfectly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn it on its side and i'm going to at least try to decorate one side of this yeah. it's been sitting for a while so it should be dry enough so you can experiment with like these let's see if they come apart yeah, they don't come apart, so it should be pretty sturdy. Okay, so as long as you're not pushing on hard, it should be fine. I'm going to turn it this way, and then I'm going to squirt some of the uh, icing in. Um, I have some bowls, and um, I've, I'm going to try to use it sparingly, though, because I still have to have enough for the roof. So um, I'll just I'll just have to see how much it takes. Here's the house, and it's not perfect by any means. No, it looks good. Uh, but yeah, I think it's very cute. I think it'll be even cuter from a distance. <laughs> um, but I do like it. Um, if you watched, you saw that I use my finger a lot. Um, the the icing didn't want to like stick to the house, so you gotta had to warm it up a little bit with your finger, and then um, just try to 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 keep rubbing until you could smooth it. Um, and these pieces will come right off here. Um, but I think it's a very very cute. I do not think that this would be appropriate for young children because 
it, the only part they could do is you stick the balls on I mean they stick the decorations on really yeah but e you know, everything else like this is very 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 time consuming I've been doing this for uh, about an hour and a half I know I sped the video up and uh, so you couldn't tell how long it took I was and that's not the the half hour you have to wait for the house itself to dry so just to do that white part and the blue part for the windows I've been and for this decoration it took an hour and a half so I just think that um, this is a little bit complicated for little kids um, if you have the kind of child that's not going to get upset if it's not perfect, then that's fine. But, I mean, I'm a grown woman, and this is the best. <laughs> this is as good as it gets. It's very cute. Like I said, I think it'll be better from a distance. That step is kind of a joke. Yeah, it's too big. But it shows it here going halfway up the door, too. You don't notice that until you're, you've, you're putting it together yourself. But the step goes up halfway up that door. Yeah, and you notice that they only have two layers as well. But the direction said to put three. To put three. Now, you didn't cut out the dolls. I now, know. let me say this. Wanted the... I wanted the box. Let me say this. Uh, let me show you. Okay, so she, this is how tall she is. She's going to be awfully tall for this house. <laughs> but, house. yeah, she's going to be really, really tall. But Kevin's going to cut her out. And we'll try to stand her up next to there, and then I'll get some pictures for you at the end. If you make this house, you're going to have to let me know. Um, what did you think about it? Did you think it was hard? Uh, you did have enough icing, but let me tell you, you have to just do it very, very thin. Like on that roof, you have to just, it has to be thin. And you saw that the white part, it's thin. And, you know... I think that they definitely, when they were doing theirs, I think they definitely, like Kevin said, they probably spray painted it or something well, before they, they even put it together. Icing and, and thinned it out and everything. Right, um, right. They, um, they put these stickers in the wrong side of the box. They put it on the part where you got the double. Yeah, because it was at the bottom of the box. Yeah, well, they but you're not going to be box. looking at that side. I guess it's for kids to play with, but you're not. It's not like you're. We're going to be looking at it. I'm just going to stick it up here somehow and take a picture and that's going to be that so so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found this entertaining and if you put any houses together this holiday season tell me which ones you chose